previously on The Walking Dead. We Hi, and uh, welcome back to Bear Plays The Walking Dead Part 2. So we're picking up directly where we left off, and um, yeah, we've just met Kenny, his family, some weird human duck mutation thing, so let's continue. Right. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. Hey there, girls. <laughs> you look, yep. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Well, if you've ever read the comics... Eh, uh, my mistake. Uh, yeah. My mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? I was on a cop car heading for somewhere, so... Anybody uh, in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Did I see somebody over here? Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. I'm gonna help you, buddy. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. How's your son doing? Good, I think. katya has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. I somehow like this guy. Mm. What's your so plan? What's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've Ooh. got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, I'm taking an interest in this guy. He's got a boat. Alright, so let's... Okay, tractor. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill. I'm good. <laughs> Sean. Sean's still working on that fence. Okay, I just picked your heavy rain here. Sean! Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Somehow I think I can manage that. 
My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Uh, was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? To yes. What? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh. Uh, bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um, let's be honest. My parents my are in Macon. Parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. How That's many things? I need cut for now. Thanks. I think I must have saw it about twelve of these things now, all I'm to the perfect length. Friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Uh, okay, let's talk to the hybrid. <laughs> How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. All I heard was quack, quack, quack. Strange hybrid thing. Whoa. i for a guy who's just introduced, like, I'm sort of zipped right across that farm. I'll take it. Shady eyes. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I hop, skipped, and jumped. I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh... My parents are making. My parents are in making with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her. Uh. I was being attacked, and she came to my rescue. Which is the truth? Hmm. <laughs> Can I give you a piece of advice? Uh. Yeah. Sure. 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 I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. <laughs> So much, so much for nice and quiet, peaceful. Never lasts. What's going on here? Oh, you muppet! Oh, you! Damn! Right. No. Pick the kid. Pick the kid. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I got you. Ah, check. Leo, you know the old saying, 
wife and kids first and all that. Hey. Wait, is that technically canon? Because I don't remember him being in the television show or the comics. Maybe he was. He died. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. Um, I was the boy, the boy. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. I'll take it. Well, so there we go. One of the first big decisions of this game. And I saved the hybrid. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Mm. Look! Hey there! <laughs> you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Do you guys never learn? Fuck! <laughs> Retract! No! 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 Run! Can't take risks like this, and we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are, they could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Oh, come on, we have Where kids. The hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl and the hybrid. What is it? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. No, he wasn't. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad. It's just a boy. It, it's Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! 
That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Uh, upsetting is getting eaten alive. Sit down or else, pal. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and one homo parade. This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Uh... Help, help, man. Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh, oh man. <laughs> Spatial awareness, Lee. Spatial awareness. You okay? No. You could have shot Sorry, me in the face. Uh, guys? Oh, this just gets better. That was the sound of karma, apparently. Uh, what's wrong, Will? What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. Uh, there's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, that'd be great. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's <laughs> got to get done. Plus, I'm quick and I know making. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie. If you get in a tight spot, hopefully you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. <laughs> Keep a good Lily eye Larry. on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Well, <laughs> that was quite a turn of events. So yeah, I'm a, definitely I'm quite liking this. Oh, cork board. 
the IT guy. Can I speak to him? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Uh, you handle yourself well. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That, that guy saved you. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps really or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, it's <laughs> nothing. Huh? Huh? What? Who? Yeah. How'd you, How end, up you here? end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. You can just feel the tension. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Have they tried switching it on and off again? <sighs> Nothing. Oh, well. Uh... <laughs> there are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Batteries. You'd look for two batteries. You're a. Uh. Hmm. No, we're no, we're not at that stage in our lives where. I think there are a few things that folk have said that I still remember. What's a VHS tape? No. Uh, aye. Nalik's showing my age. We can't let anything Ooh. happen. Already? Oh, yes. Battery. And okay, now I'm gonna go chuck it at her. What's that? Examine photographs. Oh. Fair enough. What's that pink? <laughs> wow, that's... <laughs> I'll show you what a battery is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, no. Okay, that's just too freaky. That's clear that the look of a Looks serial like killer there, like. To donate anything before this all went down. Right, Clementine, how are you? Hey there. Hi. Uh, any word from Glenn? He's just left. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Hair needs. So, um... Hair needs. Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. <laughs> we'll sit tight. Okay. Yep. 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 That was one well thought out conversation. I thoroughly enjoyed it. ATM. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Sorry, we're closed. Oh, what's that? Energy bar. Alright, can I get that to Clem? Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I 
I am such a nice random guy. I think. <laughs> yeah, he's. <an> oh. <laughs> okay, I'm loving that animation. <gasps> I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Lee, Lily, and Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. He deserved it. So what's wrong with him anyway? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Yeah, he's definitely got a temper. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean Okay, no, he's no. It's just that... He's a yeah. nice guy. We've got kids here. We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Just tell her everything. Why not? You're from here. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Doesn't it look okay? Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Hmm. No guy thunder and tell me this is Lee's parents, is it? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. Jax Teller. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. <laughs> Dead. Come on. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, ah, I'll get back to you. Back. Ooh. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Fort Lauderdale. Oh, come on. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> I did well. Plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I. Appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's the hybrid doing? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Um, I think she's good. I gave her an energy bar, so... She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. No, she can't. Okay, so she survived days on her own and did it brilliantly. I, on the other hand, didn't. <laughs> Car wreck, killed a couple of zombies, and moaned about it. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? 
That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They owned us. Uh, so that is. They uh, owned this place. They uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just <laughs> fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Uh, Wait, you got a second? Sure. <laughs> Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Well, it did happen pretty fast. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Did? Try to let it go. You can feel the bromance there happening. <laughs> you didn't have a choice. Yeah, I did. On my screen, I had two ginormous white arrows that told me, save the hybrid or save... John! But I chose the hybrid. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those hmm. things out there? Here you go, hybrid. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Ah, <laughs> uh, these conversations are really funny. Well, funny as in he just says, Yes, my my family's just just died. I am I am sad. Oh, oh, and then it's like, hey, how you doing? How's the hybrid? <laughs> hey. This guy clearly goes up and down here. This is Exam photographs. I don't remember them very well. I don't remember them very well. Well, uh, right. Did, so I'm on the search for did I f one or two bodies. <laughs> right, uh, well, judging by that time as well, I think I'll call that episode there. <laughs> oh, there's a good way at the end. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to call this episode to you clearly from his cray. <laughs> He's a stare. I want you. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, so guys, uh, stay tuned uh, for part 3 of The Walking Dead and uh, I'll see you guys later.